We did not play uh, up to our potential. I think that LSU, Alexandria is a team that um, they stayed around a little bit longer and they got more and more confident. They made more shots. But their energy level was a lot higher than us because they started getting a little bit more momentum. They scored. Our traps gave them some problems, but we had to work. We need to work on a half court man, and we didn't do a good job containing dribble penetration nor controlling the dribbler. Uh, our help side defense were not not there where it should be. It should be a sprint to help, not a, job, or a skip to help. But in my opinion, we played very soft. Um, and I felt like those kids from LS, LSU, Alexandria, played their hearts so out. This was a big game for them. Um, this was a way for them to uh, grow as a team. Uh, I think the Cardinals uh, played way too, they played on their heels and not on their, on their toes. I didn't get the, uh, the energy that I was looking for. Uh, we've got to get back to the drawing board. However, um, this is part of the building process for this team. Uh, there are going to be some inconsistencies. I realize that. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we got to win. And we're pleased with the win, but I don't like how we won. So that's really the bottom line. We work on free throws every day. We just, uh, we've got to concentrate more. Um, yes, it's something that we got to improve on. Obviously, we work on it every day, and it comes down to the concentration level. It's just the shooter in the rim. Everything else shouldn't even matter. Uh, but we'll continue to try to work on that and get better at the free throw line. Um, real disappointed. Um, our goal is to shoot at least 75 to 80% from the free throw line as a team. And uh, any time we fall, fall short of that number, then that means we got more work to do. Yeah, I think we counted like six missed layups uh, in the first half. Um, we just got to get the football down out and, and make some contact uh, the next few days before we play at uh, Texas State. Uh, maybe that uh, will give, give our guys a little confidence. Uh, but they've got to understand they, they can't look for a foul, but look to make three-point plays. And if we'll do that, um, we'll get to the point where we're very comfortable around the rim. Look, I've got a, a team that, as far as I'm concerned, uh, we're trying to build a culture. And that culture just don't happen overnight. Uh, there are going to be some bloopers along the way. Uh, but those bloopers can be cleaned up. And I'm not concerned about it at this point. I just think that um, as long as we continue to work hard at what we're doing, um, I think that um, we'll improve in, in some of those areas like uh, making free throws. Um, you start making them, your confidence goes up. So I think that's an area that we can improve on and we will improve on. This guy right here on my right, he played his heart out. Um, Tyran um, has the potential to give you double doubles most nights. Um, I thought he battled really hard today. Um, that was a positive for us. Um, other positive, we forced 21 turnovers. Uh, we, the magic number for us, if we can force 20 turnovers, we felt like we had a pretty good um, night with our traps and our rotations. Um, we pulled the traps off uh, and we just wanted to just work on our half court man and we didn't do a good job of uh, containing that dribble penetration. Our half side defense was slow. Uh, but I think that the positives were we did force 21 turnover overs and uh, we won the war on the board badly, but we did. And then Tyran did a great job in the post for us. Well, we've got to be, we got to win the effort areas, I think. Um, defensively, we got to hold our opponent uh, to at least 40, no, no more than 40%, 37 to 40% range. Uh, that means that you, you, you're playing with some toughness. Uh, we've got to win the, the war on the boards, a larger margin. Uh, and our execution, we got to clean that up. We're not sitting by the screens right now. Uh, we pl we're setting soft screens, and so we got to be more physical. Uh, on the boards, on the perimeter, and with our screen action. So uh, the physicality has got to be there. Uh, I was excited, as you can see. Um, 
it's it's an honor to play for Lamar because they gave you a chance, gave me a chance to play Division One basketball and show the world I can play. So I really appreciate it, and I was excited to play. Well, everything that players really gonna come come give us give us their best because they gonna underestimate us from the past, you know. So we just gotta be ready at all times, be the aggressor at all times. So we were looking forward to uh, them coming toward us that way. How do you think you guys are kind of coming together as a team? Obviously, you haven't had that many chances to play together, but do, do you think that's coming along nicely? Yeah, it's coming along nicely. And guys just figure out each other a little bit more. And between each game, we learn a little bit more. We're going to get there eventually, though. He's it's not going to take as long as last year to come together. I think we're going to get there faster.